This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the reactions of the halogenoalkanes. Halogenoalkanes contain an atom of fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine. Here we have some examples of halogenoalkanes. From left to right, we have iodoethane, 1 chloropropane, and 2 bromobutane. The general formula of the halogenoalkanes is CN. H2n plus 1 x, where x is a halogen atom. Halogenoalkanes undergo nucleophilic substitution reactions. This involves the replacement of one atom by another atom or group. Here we have a carbon to chlorine bond which can be found in a halogenoalkane such as chloromethane. The halogen atom is more electronegative than the carbon atom which forms a polar bond. The halogen has a partial negative charge and the carbon has a partial positive charge. We say the carbon is electron deficient. So here we can see that the carbon atom has a positive dipole and the chlorine atom has a negative dipole. This is due to the difference in electronegativity between the carbon atom and the chlorine atom. Next we look at nucleophiles. Nucleophiles are electron-rich species that have lone pairs of electrons. Because they are electron-rich, nucleophiles are attracted to regions of positive charge. Here we have some examples of nucleophiles. From left to right we have ammonia, H2O, the hydroxide ion and the cyanide ion. Nucleophiles such as these are attracted to the electron-deficient carbon in the halogenoalkane. Next, we look at the reaction of a halogenoalkane and a nucleophile. So halogenoalkanes react with aqueous sodium hydroxide to produce alcohols. Here we have the reaction of a halogenoalkane, which is chloroethane, to produce an alcohol, which is ethanol. Here we can see the hydroxide ion, which is acting as a nucleophile. The hydroxide ion replaces the chlorine atom which is bonded to this carbon atom. In the reaction, the carbon to chlorine bond is broken with the chlorine atom taking both the bonding electrons. This is known as heterolytic bond fission. This produces the chloride ion which is known as the leaving group. And here we have the equation for the reaction. Chloroethane reacts with aqueous sodium hydroxide to produce ethanol and sodium chloride. The hydroxide ion comes from the aqueous sodium hydroxide. And finally, we look at one more example. Here we have the reaction of one bromopropane with aqueous sodium hydroxide to produce propanonol and sodium bromide. So here we have the full structural formula of one bromopropane. As we can see, the bromine atom is replaced by a hydroxyl group. 